What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very shocking episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the topic, the very popular yet controversial topic of electroculture. What is it and does it work? And will I be using it in my garden? So with that, let's go. So the whole idea about electroculture is based on the idea that when a electrical event like a thunderstorm occurs, that the electricity, the energy being released through that thunderstorm is released into the ground and the ion exchange that happens between the positive ions and the negative ions in the soil creates a static electricity, a big static shock, and it fixes atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. And that is well documented. That is absolutely true. Um, it has been documented. It's backed by science. And um, I know that a lot of times we say, well, okay, we can't always trust what's backed by science because what we, what we see in science, what is backed by science, is stuff that is already documented. And if not a lot of research is, being, uh, is going towards it, there's a lot of stuff that is unknown that once it becomes known, then you know, it's what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? And I really do look at it like that, where there's so much unknown about the world around us that we're always in a quest to try to find something, right? There's always one new shiny object for us to catch our attention. And I think that that is really what's going on here is that um, a lot of people are turning towards just uh, this kind of, I would consider it kind of more of a new age approach to, to life and living. And we're really kind of always on a search for how can we as humans connect with the nature around us. And a lot of that is based around the idea of a life force and it's known as chi. And essentially from what I've, and I'm not an expert on this whatsoever, but essentially chi is the energy that we all give off, whether it's birds chirping, leaves rustling, being surrounded by plants, there's an energy, a life force that's given off. It's what connects us. And so that's kind of the premise is that uh, electroculture is using an elect a uh, copper coil that they put into the ground. And I've even been told that it could be something like, uh, like tomato cages, metal tomato cages, or metal T posts, or these, um, or these uh, cattle panel trellises. Any type of metal that can help to attract, uh, uh, absorb that energy, right? That stuff that would be, stuff that lightning would hit, right? Stuff that lightning would hit can help to capture the, the life force in the air and put it into the soil. And essentially, that is what gives plants all that they need. And people that are really into this topic essentially say that you don't even need nutrients. All you need is water, soil, and plants. And essentially, you put these copper coils into the ground and life just happens. So we're gonna break that down for a second because I don't entirely believe that to be true, but I'm also not gonna say that it's not true. And I'll kind of explain why. So when it comes to things like electroculture, um, this is a topic that a lot of you have wanted me to cover. And the reason why is because it's really catching fire. It's very popular right now. And I think a big reason why it's popular right now, and this is just me talking, this is not meant to upset anybody or frustrate anybody, but there right now is a big revolt in kind of the, uh, the human condition against what I would consider to be the man. And a lot of what I've seen with electroculture is you know, the reason why there aren't studies being done or the reason why the information is not out there is because it's being suppressed. It's this very, uh, it's this very I don't want to say conspiratorial, but uh, I guess that is one way to put it. Um, but it's very, it's, it's very us versus them. You know, we are the ones with the information and the internet is uh, allowing us to get this information out using the power of the internet. And uh, the, the powers that be do not want this incredible, uh, this incredible uh, way of growing a garden or you know, living to be suppressed. And uh, that's because there's so much reliance on things like synthetic fertilizers. And there's so much reliance on things like, uh, you know, just uh, the system, right? Being plugged into the system. And so uh, I see it now more than ever where we're really just, there's a shiny object for us to point the blame at and essentially create a, a flashy story that can capture like-minded people, like-minded individuals, people that might be, might, might have a likeness to questioning the system. They might have a likeness to questioning uh, authority. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a wrong thing to question authority, but I just really want to center myself always 
on is it worth my energy? <laughs> is it worth my energy? And that really is what comes down to it because a lot of these people that I've that I've heard talk are very, you know, they're they're no pun intended, they're down to earth, right? They are very pro gardening, they're very pro organic gardening, they're very pro being connected with nature, but they're also uh, a tad bit aggressive. They're a tad bit negative. And what I find kind of odd is that they're talking about all this positive energy, but they give off a lot of negative energy themselves. It's a very strange, uh, it's a very strange dilemma that they find themselves in because I don't get a warm, fuzzy feeling from a lot of the people. Now, there are a good, a good majority of people, though, that I will say promote just a way of growing a garden. They talk about the benefits of electroculture. And now, when you look at the benefits of electroculture, I can say, you know, pretty assertively that there's no scientific evidence that's been done on this. There's no peer-reviewed studies. There's no, uh, there's, there's nothing that's really documented any evidence of this whatsoever. Um, so that leaves you with one of two ideas. You could wake up in the morning every day feeling as if someone is out to get you and someone is out to suppress information, or there really isn't anything there at all, or a third one is there really isn't anything there yet. And that's what I really kind of want to focus my energy on for this video is that I don't personally believe there to be all of the benefits that are, be that are being touted by electroculture. I think it's a bit of a fad, personally. I think it's uh, something that is of the time. It's in our zeitgeist right now that is very popular. People are talking about it. And I think of it a lot like uh, like a new diet or a new workout trend. Um, I think people move from one flashy object to the next. And you look at these diets and you look at these these trends and like I can talk about you know, the decade of, of uh, low carb. I can talk about the decade of high fat. I can talk about the decade of um, you know, uh, intermittent fasting, right? We all have heard these terms and it seems like when the next flashy object rolls around, it's like, oh, is, what about the paleo diet, right? There's people that still do the paleo diet, but is it as popular as it used to be? Um, and really what I kind of come around to is not to attack these diets, it's that, okay, they work for some people, they work for other reasons, they might not be working for the reasons that are touted, but they, they might work temporarily for somebody for unforeseen reasons, or they might work because there is actual science behind them. Who's to say, right? There's so much about the human condition that we don't know yet, that we haven't discovered yet. So for me to say that it's not true and you know, apply a blanket statement towards that, that's saying that a copper coil in the garden simply doesn't work would be very arrogant of me. And I don't take that approach ever. What I do take the approach of is that I, I know what I can see with my eyes. I know enough about just the, the world around me to know that if I apply chicken manure, which is not a synthetic fertilizer, that I'm not going to have, there's no, there's no organization that's trying to stop me from using chicken, chicken poop to fertilize my crops, right? There's nothing saying that I have to use an electrical coil to fixate the nutrients because the, the chicken manure fix it, you know, fixes that in the soil for me. And one of the biggest arguments is like, you don't need any type of fertilizer. It's all about this depend, you know, getting away from the dependence of the fertilizer. And you know, the, the atmosphere will give you all of the energy for your plants that your plants need. And I would simply say, put your plants in a container and put a copper coil in there and see what happens. Just keep them watered and see what happens. Put them, put them, in, uh, put them in a sterile potting mix with no nutrients but put a copper coil in there and see what happens. I don't need to have a, uh, an experiment to tell you that it won't work out very well for very long. I don't care how many times you try it. I don't know how many control groups you try. I don't care, I don't care what plants you use. I don't care about anything. I can guarantee you it's not gonna work. And that's because there are nutrients that are needed and plants do use nutrients in the soil. So I can tell you that much. Um, so I wanna end on kind of my final thoughts I think is gonna summarize all this up and why I don't think it why I don't think it's the worst thing in the world for someone to believe as long as they carry about them a positive energy, but I just don't think it really works for me. So in summary, I guess the thing that I'll kind of touch on is all the people out there that will probably say, well, but there's lots of channels that show that it works. And I would say, 
okay, so the thing is, is that, are they showing that it works for the reasons that they're stating? And if so, we really have to be able to ascertain what is actually happening, right? Do they actually have a control group, right? Is there an actual control? And is that control separate enough and replicatable enough so that it's not just a one-off occurrence, right? Are there three beds showing this, uh, this control against three beds that are showing electroculture? Are there, you know, is there enough of a, enough of a population size, as it's called, to really gather enough data, enough data points to prove a correlation? Because as they say, correlation, correlation does not equal causation. And so, um, are the, is electrical culture, is electric culture working for the reasons that they state? And if so, is there something that is measurable, right? Data needs to be measurable. You can't, you, you could look at something like the height of plants. That's measurable, sure. Um, you could look at the nutrient levels in soil. Is that measurable? Sure. You could look at, uh, you could look at fruit yield, right? It has to be measurable. How much, the weight of how many tomatoes you're harvesting or the amount of tomatoes, it has to be something quantifiable. That is the only way that we can look at data. We cannot look at data subjectively and simply say, well, this bed looks like it's working better. Done deal. Because the thing is, is that that's not really how we actually gain knowledge. Knowledge is not based on opinion. It's based on facts. And so my, the problem is that there's no facts so far other than very passionate opinions as to about how this works. And so that's one problem. But there will also be another thing that I'll say, which is that I'm not saying that it doesn't work, right? I just am saying that there's no studies being done about it. And I'm leaving that open because if we always end the, if we always end a sentence or a statement with a period, it puts an end to it, right? It doesn't work, period. Um, and so I'm saying that so far I haven't seen anything to prove that it works, but I'm not saying that it doesn't work. And so if you're someone that does want to try it, if you're someone that wants to believe in it, I've always said growing a garden is better than sitting on the couch, right? Having a garden is better than not having a garden. And people, uh, you know, this is kind of a, like really far off in the weeds, but people have always uh, asked the question, well, uh, you know, do you think religion is, is real? And I've always said, if someone wants to believe in something, let them believe in it. If it's real, at the end of the day, when we all die, <laughs> we find out what's real and what's not, right? And so it doesn't hurt to believe in something. It's just, you have to decide about the amount of energy that you're putting into it. And if you're really being honest about that, about that, uh, about what you're saying. If you are passionate about electric culture and you wanna use it in your garden and you wanna talk about it, absolutely. You can go for it. That's the wonderful thing about this platform. The only thing I would say is that it's really hard to capture people if there's nothing to really quantify, right? I would encourage people to quantify it. I'd encourage people to try it. I'd encourage people to, 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 you know, to test those things out and to try to quantify something to give evidence and credence to this, to this idea. Um, am I gonna try it in my garden? No, I'm not. And the reason why is because um, I, I have my garden the way that it is. I like my garden the way that it is. And I don't personally believe in chi, right? I don't personally believe in the life force around us. I don't, I don't really believe in that. Um, it's just not something that I believe in. And I respect your beliefs and I would really hope that you respect mine because at the end of the day, I talk about the gardening is not a one size fits all solution, right? A lot of what I say, people will disagree with, but they still watch our channel and say, Luke, I love your channel because you say that gardening is not a one size fits all solution. And what works for me might not work for you. And what works for you might not work for me. And I think that's wonderful because we're all at the end of the day growing a garden. And that really is the only thing that I'm actually concerned about is are you growing a garden? And if so, are you having fun doing it? If you're not having fun gardening and you're doing it for the wrong reasons and you're being very negative and you're putting out a lot of this negative energy, that's something that I don't want any part of, right? That's, that can, you can, you can go into your corner and your part of the world and spread that negative energy, but I don't want that here, right? I wanna be as positive as possible. So um, until things change otherwise, that's my stance on electric culture. Um, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but uh, that's kinda of hard to do these days. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and uh, do your research always. Do your research always and you create your own opinions. And uh, if you disagree, keep it, uh, keep it, uh, keep it kosher in the comments box down below. All right, take care guys, grow bigger, go home.
See you. Bye.